My girl needs a job, okay? Because my kids are going to have an amazing life, and in order to give them an amazing life, I need to be in a job. This job specifically. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday, and today I have nothing planned. Nothing planned. I can't even remember what I was going to say. I'm currently studying for... At this point, I'm not even sure what I'm studying for. I'm at a transitional period in my life where I'm trying to figure out what is my next step. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I'm always looking for the next best thing. What is the next step for me? What else am I gonna venture off into? And so I'm at the point where I'm trying to figure that out right now. I have an idea, but I'm still working on it. So we are here. Yesterday was a nice little day. One of my friends came over and we chilled with baby. We ate, she introduced me to some Trinidadian food, even though she really is Guyanese. But I'll tell you one thing. It reminded me of Jamaican cuisine. And it also reminded me that the Caribbean countries are all linked and nine times out of ten we all have the same food but we just call it something different with a lot of hint of difference in how we prepare it and so that's what I got from the whole experience but it was so so good she brought me uh, two cute little dresses so so cute I already put them in her hamper so I can show you guys those right now but um because I don't feel like going in that dirty room but um yeah so there's that but right now I have some milk in the milk warmer in the bottle warmer going for her because i just heard her crying so i wanted to make sure that i had the milk warm and ready so when i go pick her up we are all ready to go this is what the living room is currently looking like my little book there that i was studying from my map book because i was using that to do some things and i was basically just leaning here so i'm gonna bring her out her little section in the corner there is already set up and i and i always 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 put her in the corner because she typically um she can even if she starts rolling she can't fall from the corner but i'm gonna try putting her in this little chair today that her godmother bought for her like one of the times when she's sleeping i'm gonna put her there and see how she does um she slept in it before but not for a long long time i currently have the candles going in the kitchen i end up putting the two bar stools on this side of the table as opposed to on the ends and they look okay so far when we are going to eat we have taken them and put them on the side anyways because it is more spacious than this area right here that's trash you know don't pay attention to that don't miss the point focusing on the small things anyways yeah we're here i just heard this go off so let's take her milk out i think right now she is going through what is considered a feeding regression and i will take the feeding regression regression over the sleep regression because i need her to sleep because i go back to work in a few short weeks here and so i need her to be sleeping when i'm leaving her hair at nights so far it looks like the schedule is going to be that we're going to get somebody to stay here for like two hours per night um to facilitate me leaving and getting to work on time and her dad coming home on time because right now our schedules kind of work out but they also kind of clash where did he get to ray and the nephew run from i hope he knows that that will take him out <laughs> where's my phone that will absolutely take him out and he likes to mix drinks very strong i have a few people that i need to call today but back to the schedule two hours per night for maybe three to four nights a week maybe one week three nights maybe the other um week four nights just within that gap for her dad to get here because he gets here by 10 30 and my shift starts at 11 and i can't leave here at 10 30 to get there for 11 i don't live that close if i did that would be amazing but like that's cutting it a little bit too close and too many lates and you're in the office too many times in the office and you're out of a job and a girl needs a job okay because my kids are going to have an amazing life and in order to give them an amazing life i need to be in a job this job specifically because i love this job i've expressed that before that i really do love where i'm at right now in my life and the job that i currently have so grateful for the job so grateful for the friends that i've made through that job and you know how they're always saying oh your friends at work are not your friends they're your co-workers sometimes that is true but also two things can be true at the same time some people end up being your friends and really good friends too while some people remain your co-workers 
Let's just have a cookie crumbles, girl. So yeah, so one of my friends from work was over yesterday. She is amazing. We absolutely love her. Me and I love her so much. She may never see this video. We don't know. But if she does, Park, we love you, okay? We love and we really appreciate you. Anyways, moving on. So I'm about to get her. Let's check and see what she's doing. If she's actually up or if she's just moving around because these days i'm trying to do a lot for myself in the moments where she's where she's um sleeping she is definitely awake and moving around last night too was kind of a struggle and i'll tell you why last night was kind of a struggle mainly because um she was fussing a little bit i pierced her ears a few days ago and so i was thinking maybe it's her ears bothering her but i touched it and she had no reaction so obviously it's not her ears so i was thinking it's her stomach because she was passing so much gas yesterday so i'm like oh my goodness she's so gassy so i gave her some gas drops obviously we know that they're saying that it's a placebo effect so it probably does not work but i swear to god when i give it to her there's a little bit of relief if that's just in my head then i'll take it because whatever is in my head works for her and i so if it works it works you know so i mean i have this little bottle oh i also bought her some new bottles the same thing phillips avent bigger these are 11 ounces i'm a very practical person so practical in um in such a way where it's like had i bought this i never would have bought it so small even though they are petite and cute i never would have bought it so small because i know that i'm going to use these bottles for a long time i would have bought the 11 ounce initially had i been the one who bought this these small bottles that i have i got all of them in um so like this one and this one i got these in the free registry bags if you are pregnant sign up for the free registry from all of the places and get the free registry bag because you get a lot of little things like these that you're gonna be able to use um throughout baby's first four months of life if anything because you know right now she's still drinking four ounces which is really good but i'm slowly transitioning to these mainly because too i love these bottles they do not leak and i have the tummy tippy and i realize that one of them start two of them are like leaking through this part right here i don't know what is making it leak and i've tried different things um pressing down the little um colic relief thing that's in the middle also i just feel like these people are marketing things to sell us i don't think the lot of straws in the bottles help with colic at all however if you like that bottle for your baby then you just like that bottle and use it but do not buy those bottles thinking that it's going to help with colic and, and gas and whatever babies are still gassy and colicky they don't do anything anyways i actually did not buy these her, her godmom bought these i was telling her um that i was going to buy some things for her and she's like i will buy the bottles and so she sent me the money to buy these bottles so love her god her godmothers she has two godmothers jules and jill jules bought these um so yeah i bought these in the 11 ounce so maybe for as long as she's gonna continue using bottles for we're probably gonna have these ones because these are gonna grow with her because they're 11 ounces and she's not at the point yet where she's drinking 11 ounces so that's where we're at concerning that so i put them in my little baby brazo sterilizer yesterday and we have those and then we still have um dr brown nine ounce bottles the glass ones so at some point we are gonna fully transition to just the phillips avent bigger one that i showed you guys and the um tommy tippy glass bigger ones let me show not tommy tippy dr brown glass ones and i feel like i'm gonna enjoy these ones when it's not too hot mainly because when i wash it it's always gonna look clear i feel like after a while the plastic kind of looks cloudy when you wash it so you know but it's not a big thing maybe that's just the ocd in me but um yeah so that's what we have going on so far um like I said, I am going to get her because I realized that she was moving around. I'm transitioning out the bottles. The apartment is really nice and clean. Um, and it smells... It smells really good in here as well because I have um, the Airwick Wallflowers going and I absolutely love those. Those are a staple in my home. I always have to have those because I always have to have the good smells going in here. I currently have my candle sweater weather lit on the table too. Love sweater weather. Whenever I'm buying candles, if those are available, I'm always going to buy a few sort of weather i'm gonna get her and we're gonna roll our little baby supplies cart out into the living room too because we are gonna be lounging in the living room for the day and so i roll that out every day like i told you guys before that i feel like i might need to change at some point because i feel like one we're gonna use that forever and a day in different spaces of the apartment or whatever apartment or or home we live in but um i need to change it out to the metal one and now i wish that i had bought the metal one before i, I think a lot of times i'm being so cheap with a lot of things and i'm now realizing that i don't need to do that when i'm gonna buy something just buy the one good thing that i need initially oh baby developmental milestones right now she's pulling herself up and actually sitting up 
I'm gonna insert a video of her sitting up on me to show you guys. I think I said that yesterday, but getting so I wanna buy her one of the little wants to get up. My address show. No. One of these little chair type situations so that um she could sit up in those. So um yeah, there's that. But I have two packages that are supposed to be delivered today. So we're going to see how that works. You know, I have a high chair. I have a high chair for her. But well, the only difference with the high chair is that the seat part has no base. I can like, put it on the table or put it on the couch or whatever. It's just like a whole thing. Should I just take the high chair out and not buy another little chair contraption? Even full high chair. Let me show you guys the one that I have. She's in there crying again. So I'm going to show you guys quickly and then we're going to... um. This is the one that I have, so I'm wondering if I should just... I'm wondering if I should just take it out now and like just use that in the open spaces. And I specifically bought one that I knew would go with the... how my table is set up because right now my bar stools are set up kind of like this. So this looks like a bar stool only for babies and it transitions to a um, baby, a toddler chair and table situation so love that too so that's one of the reasons why i bought that one because like i said to you guys i'm very practical and i love things that are functional and serves more than one purpose especially when it comes to baby because baby appliances and furniture could add up really really quickly and we are not trying to do all of that i need to look for a dresser on amazon too because my friend that i sold the other two silver nightstands that i had too she wants the matching dresser as well so she's like listen find one on amazon that you like and i will repurchase that for you and you could just give me the one that you have so i'm like okay whatever we have it in the dirty room there as well the room is dirty i'm not even exaggerating um so i'm wondering if i should just take this high chair out because i could put it underneath the table like i have these other two underneath the table right now so i don't really know and we'd have her sit in it here and there if she wants to sit up i just feel like it's a big contraption so i don't really know i don't really know but we're gonna we're well we'll see i don't know we'll see we'll see i just don't want to be buying unnecessary things and have too many things inside here that's all so we're really gonna have to see but we're gonna go get her feed her and basically start the day oh, 1201 i already ate breakfast and everything because once she went down for her first morning nap after waking up from sleeping last night for eight hours we love that for her we fed her a big bottle before she went to sleep and the next bottle was ready and waiting as soon as she woke up five good ounces but um yeah i made sure that i ate my breakfast and everything so when she was awake when she's awake i would have all that time to spend with her so that's what we're gonna go do